We're getting damn wing wangs. We're getting that experience. We don't need it. We don't need experience anymore. Definitely out of that. Out of that game. That game doesn't... Okay, I'm not sure why that made me zoom in on that. Um, oh, shit. Our mutual friend. We have one of those. Um, we have another Darwin mission up here. Uh, we'll have this Charles Dickens memory. We're going to go and count how many of these we have left. So there's one here, because you can tell them the little memories thing down there. One there. We're all done there. All done there. One Darwin. Uh, one more Darwin here. Uh, and two Charles Dickens memories here. So we have like four more side missions to do. Which is alright. I'm cool with that. Um, but I would rather do a main mission and then end it. Uh, because I have some stuff I need to do today. Uh, this needs to get edited and uploaded and everything. But I'll upload that at a different time. Just gotta get everything ready to go. Because I'm recording this on a Sunday afternoon. And I gotta be at work tomorrow early. So, we're gonna go ahead and... Go right over here. Hopefully there is a, uh, whatever it's called, a thing, or something. Hopefully there is a, uh, a shop, is what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm fucking tired for some reason. I'm starting to fall asleep. Damn. Damn. It's not even one yet. God damn it. I'm... Okay, it is one. Never mind. <laughs> We're at the point where I need to take a shower. Need to get ready. To go do things and go see people and do... Things. We got stuff. Oh shit, there's a shop right here. So, we're gonna go ahead and mark that shop. I'm gonna go do the shop, and then we're gonna go start that mission. Then we should be fine. Holy shit. Alright, I'll take that. Got us a good head start there. Now, there's a bunch of different games that I, I'm planning on doing this summer. I know I've, I've talked about this a lot, but shit's been changing around. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some other things at the same time. I've just got a whole bunch of shit on my plate that I want to want to do. But it's kind of one of those when do I have the chance to actually do them? Because I record maybe two or three times a week. Uh, we might as well just start this. Nah, I'll talk about this in a little bit. Just talking about time and scheduling for myself, just to... Just for planning. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? All right. So... Uh, but uh, this whole scheduling thing for me right now is kind of difficult because uh, some days I need to be at work early. Some days I get to leave early. Um, th those some days that I get to leave early are mostly like Friday because I've hit the 40-hour mark. And uh, overtime is one of those, do I get it or do I not? It's, it, should I try to get it? Um, now, it's a different situation for, for me. Than it is for a lot of people. Uh, that 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 didn't work out as well as I thought it would. All right, we're gonna start over. I didn't mean to jump down right on top of that guy, but it shouldn't be too hard to do this. I mean, it's the first part of this fucking mission. But uh, yeah, I mean that we've had a little bit of uh. 
a little bit of communication issues. Um, they want me to stick at 40 hours. I can get a, a various amount of overtime whenever I, I need it, I guess. Uh, I mean, I can use my overtime for other things. Uh, tomorrow, I know that I'm going to be at uh, work. Or, oh, shit. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body What's upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. <laughs> By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. Oh, yes. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crowd to the bloody Stuarts. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. All right, well, tackle. All right. I'm not sure why he's running. He doesn't know I was there. Oh, children, getting in the way. Ooh, nice try. Pleasure to meet you, B. B, my name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to... Smug bastard. Oh, that lady's got a good shot. Avoid all the sniper shots. Okay. Won't be too hard. Hello. I just need to, uh, go straight up. Hopefully she doesn't turn around and shoot me too, too easily. Would you climb, you fucking idiot? Alright. That, that didn't... Ooh, no, 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 no. No, no. Nice try. Alright. Piece of shit. All right, I have tackled you. All right, I just got a fighter, I guess. <laughs> I win. Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Oh. Huh. We done, we, we done good there. We, we did pretty good. Look at that. Well, that was only one mission, and that was pretty damn easy. But we have put ourselves in a great spot here. We, uh, we're right next to this Charles mission. All right, you. I shall talk to you, and we will... Our mutual friend. Greater friend of Mr. Dickens and Mr. Darwin. Uh, all right. 
My dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? Who's Hammond when he's at home, then? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Thank <laughs> you.